for turning up here at Point Van and no surprise to do a search in his house but look what's right next to the car if it hasn't moved they haven't moved hello hello what are you guys doing do you see the snake there's a snake we've got to find it another one over there hello buddy acting like i've never seen a kangaroo before <laughs> Um, there. Sorry, I'll just scooch on. Right. See him there. Who's the chair over there? Is that it? Yep, that's him. That is a little green tree snake. Oh, right. So he's come all the way around. So he would have followed the walls along. Uh -huh. And he's just looking for a way out. Hello, you cutie. Hello. Why is he so limp? Is he just not very active? <laughs> not dangerous. You can think so, no, no, this things. one's harmless. So do you guys want to look? I'll just bring him over here. Because he should be... A bit more lively, seems very yeah, he was limp. He's gonna bite you then, he had his mouth open. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure actually what he was doing because it wasn't much of a. I'll catch him if he moves, I'm just trying to make sure he's back and everything's moving. Yeah. I'm not sure if maybe he's um, got any injuries. Where do you take him when you find Oh, him? this guy, he will probably would just take him down to a yeah, nearby gross. wetland somewhere because oh, okay. they, they're just frog eaters and they're not dangerous, they're harmless. But by law, they are protected by law and need to be, um, like, kept, sort of, within might be their range. Or something. Sorry? He no. might be dehydrated. He dehydrated. feels quite funny. Oh. And he's acting quite funny. Oh. Um, yeah, w when they overheat, they do actually do exactly what he's doing. So I wonder if he is dehydrated. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just... I'm a but, bit of a worry, well, can we get him out of here before he nicks off again? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting him out of here, I'm just having a look, that's all, because he's not acting normal. No. So I'm just wondering why, that's all. He doesn't feel right either. Um, and they're normally very lively and wiggly snakes, so I can almost roll him over and he's just, yeah, there's something very, very strange going on. So, because if there is something wrong with him, we need to... Uh, Get them to a vet or something or rehab them. So these guys are right at the front door. I'll give them a wide berth in case they want to beat me up. Hello. Morning. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. See you. Hey, Skibbies. Thank you for not beating me up. <laughs> See ya. Jeez. Hey. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, so what are they doing? Stupid birds! Get out of the way! So I brought the snake home and had a bit of a look. And it, once I had a proper look, it was pretty easy to figure out what's going on with this snake. I get excited when I'm actually catching snakes and I don't really pay attention half the time to what's going on. Once I had a proper look, I worked out that this is a female and she's gravid, which means pregnant. If anyone doesn't know what a gravid snake or a gravid is what we say when a reptile is pregnant, we say it's gravid. So congratulations young lady. There's nothing wrong with her. She's just probably come into that house to look for somewhere to lay her eggs, but found a nice home for her here. And this is literally just across the road from our house. Thought might as well not delay it any further and putting her back. Know that there's nothing wrong with her. But if you have a look here, you can see the lumps where the eggs are. That's why she's the way she is. Very sluggish. So see that? There's a good shot. You can see the lumps. You can see those eggs in there three boulders at least there but she'd have a few more eggs probably at least five seven eggs in there at least so she's only young but obviously sexually mature gorgeous looking one how are the colors on this one stunning looking snake so those people will be Happy that they didn't end up with another seven or so. But God, stunning colours. 
This is a really gorgeous snake. I'm gonna make sure we put a maybe up in here somewhere. She'd obviously like the wetlands, but she needs somewhere to, to nestle in. So here you go, Dar. That's why you're acting funny. Fantastic shot. Very inactive. 